really want. Now I do hope you have your popcorn ready because you're about to witness Miss Stanley's Year 13 biology class explaining part of the AQA A2 syllabus. Whoop, whoop. Now today we shall be studying human populations and luckily for you we have members of that species explaining it to you. So what lucky devil you are. I'm going to start off with population size and factors affecting it. So it's over to Katie. Human population is affected by many environmental and social factors. Human population is exponential, which means it grows at a faster and faster rate and fluctuates due to disease, war and famine. So these are only temporary population declines. Population grows due to humans use of technology and to grow, such as the agricultural revolution and manufacturing. Humans have used technology to overcome diseases. Right. Factors affecting humans are social, political, environmental and economical, which are not factors that are affected in other organisms. Countries with a higher per capita income often have low birth rates. Those countries who also have a low per capita income have a high birth rate. This can be due to other factors such as affordability of contraceptives and better medical care. Cultures and religions can also have an impact. Some religions disagree with abortion or other contraceptive methods. This can be because they believe it's unethical or goes against God's will. Social pressures can also have an effect. Often in some countries, larger families have a better social standing. Birth control also has an impact. In many countries where birth control is cheap or easily available and free, birth rate decreases because many people don't want to have children and they use contraceptive methods to prevent having children. Social factors also has an impact. Many governments use propaganda to decrease the birth rate, such as in China. Other countries are use propaganda to increase the birth rate. Here, we have a low population, however, we have a high population and we have a high death rate as well. This leads to a stable population. This is stage one. Stage two. Population here, the total population seems to be increasing. However, the birth rate stays the same, but the death rate decreases. This is what leads to the increasing total population. Stage three, the birth rate um, starts to decrease, and the total population is still increasing. This is because the death rate is still much lower than the decreasing birth rate. Stage four, the birth rate and the death rate are constant pretty much and the total population is around a constant this is plus all three pretty much constant stage five the death rate starts to increase and the birth rate stays the same so you should decline the total population cracking work malcolm now how can we beat that well our next speaker is one of my subscribers so need i say more clearly a person of high caliber over to you will Alright, so I'm going to talk about death rates oh, and factors affecting it. Uh, age profile plays a major part, meaning that the higher the percentage of elderly people there are in the population, the higher the death rate will be. Uh, life expectancy also plays a part, so MEDCs, or more developed countries, uh, will have a longer life expectancy due to uh, the benefiting economy and healthcare. Uh, food supply as well, if a place has lots of food, people are more likely to have the appropriate nourishment and therefore live longer. Uh, safe drinking water and sanitation, obviously uh, bad sanitation leads to illnesses etc which isn't good for life, uh, life expectancy or living. Uh, medical care, obviously if you, get, if you do get ill from bad sanitation or whatnot, you want someone to be able to fix it and if they can you're going to be alright. Well, you're probably going to pop your clogs. Um, natural disasters, um, uh, earthquakes, uh, tsunamis, all that stuff. Uh, it's going to kill people straight off, not to mention destroy facilities, etc, etc. And war, obviously, lots of people die, all sorts of tensions around the country, blah, blah, blah. All ends up badly for the people. Okay, uh, so this is a graph detailing total population, uh, death rate and birth rate. I'm going to look at uh, death rate because I'm a really optimistic person. Um, starting off here, it sort of fluctuates through stage one. Um, meaning that the population stays as here uh, fairly stable. Um, death rates uh, begin to uh, death rate begins to decrease in um, stage two uh, with the development of healthcare, uh, etc. In uh, more as the country gets more developed, 
Uh, it then plateaus here um, because of the uh, you know the amount of healthcare available going on through stage three and four. Uh, when it gets to stage five, however, the death rate begins to increase uh, because due to the healthcare advances and low death rate here, uh, the population progressively becomes more and more old. Uh, so therefore, the elderly uh, will begin to die out in a stage five society, um, meaning death rate increases. Cheers. Well, if you're one of those students who lies in bed all night at the wonder on what on earth a population pyramid is, well, here is the answer. Right, now we've had a look at the demographic transition model. We're now going to look at a different way of representing population change, and we're going to look at the population pyramid. Right, so basically what a population pyramid is, is splitting males and females and seeing what percentage of the population are different age groups. So the age increases as you go up the pyramid, and you should get, well, a pyramid shape. So what the aim is here, we're going to arrange ourselves into three sort of stereotypical types of population pyramid. Um, that's for a stable population, an increased population, and a decreasing population. And hopefully we should be able to explain them as well. Okay? I think we need 11. 11. Right. Can we have 11 people? So what we want to do, we want to arrange you into a normal sort of equilateral triangle. Okay? Wait, I can miss. So I think we need... Do you have a protractor? Yeah, um, for, no, for the first one. Here we have got a beautiful, stable population pyramid here. So this is, this is the population pyramid of the world, pretty much. The world population is more or less stable. So the average amount of birth rates and death rates are equal. So... Yes, yeah, so that's what we're supposed to be seeing. We're supposed to be seeing a nice, perfect triangle here, as I'm sure you're witnessing. <laughs> anyway, so now we're going to do an increasing population, which should be a bit easier. Because what, what we need, we need a flatter base of the triangle now. Fine, because then that, that'll show a clip. So now we've got a flatter base. So here we have, out of the whole population, there are more children. So the birth rate... <laughs> is increasing. So this is typical for LEDCs, so like Africa, has quite a, a population pyramid which is quite sort of flat at the end. So there we go, that's an increasing population diagram showing on the population pyramid. Now we're going to do a decreasing population. So this is even more simple, we're basically pretty much going to be in a straight line. Okay. So as you can see here, there's probably, if this is the death rate, so if, this, if these are older people and these are younger people, we can see that there's more death rates. There, there, isn't, there isn't a balance as there was in the first one we saw. There's more death rates. So we have an ageing population. So overall, as there's more younger people and there's not as many people being born than on that end, that means overall the population is going to go right down and decrease. So that's a decreasing population for you. And that's pretty much it, I think. So see ya. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> and make things better by working together. It's a simple message and it comes from the heart. Believe in yourself. For that's the place to start. Start the dancing. Hey, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. If we could learn to work and play and get along with each other. Hey, what a but of course, we couldn't possibly end this video with a few final words from our head boy. Am I meant to be recording? <laughs> Am I still meant to be recording?